guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season two <clears throat> of my next life as a villainous BTW. I am so sorry, this is just late. Um, I took a nap <laughs> while I was waiting for this to come out because I was waiting for it since like 11 going on 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I had pizza around like 3. I ate, I slept, I didn't get back up until about, like, five, going on six. Um, got home, got, like, half of my meals done, and it's now, like, three minutes to three, and I'm already gonna get a react to this, and then after that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and go to bed so I can get up and do the other things I gotta do. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three, two, one, go. I can't, I can't wait all the damn pictures once again. Yeah. Which I'm guessing that's not going to happen until the movie comes out. Because she OP. <laughs> that is all. Katarina is just OP. <laughs> Congratulations, baby. Right. A lot has happened in two years. <laughs> I 
I think that's cute. So that looked good. was that mm -mm. okay no that was nothing thank god <laughs> Helen Ah, yes, the fangirls and fanboys. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh -huh. But hold on, Katarina, aren't you a little too tall? I mean, she is short, but I mean, it could kind of technically fit if we really want to push it. What's up, Mary? Shade. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. But you know, at the same time, like, the boys are going to try to, you know, crash it. Come on, because boys are boys. No. 
You want to dance? So you know she's a girl. We can multitask like that. <laughs> of course, Keith. Hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, love making. Exactly. Because he's in love with you. I mean, obviously, it's written all over your face, babe. <laughs> Come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Mary. <laughs> Now's not the time. Not three. Not at 3.11 in the morning. Yeah, uh huh, Sophia. Because you want that indirect kiss? <laughs> oh my god.
Oh, baby. Come on, you know. <laughs> uh oh. You're not gonna. You did. Oh. Yeah, he's right. Katarina. I, I'm about to say, like, <laughs> I feel like Sophia would love the hell out of Wattpad. <laughs>
baby. You never go get a happy ending. <laughs> Let's hope so. Because you never know what the hell could happen. I mean, because you know, unless. Of course. <laughs> and once again, do you think anybody cares? Oh my god. Oh, good job, baby. That was cute. <laughs> the two guys that we saw in her dream? Yes. I like your voice. Oh, your voice is adorable too. It's kind of familiar. <laughs> Poor baby. And I just love how it just abruptly ends. <laughs> thoughts on this second season. I really enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed the first. I mean, the stakes and the and everything went from like uh, let's say mm, god, okay. So season 1, I would say ended on like 100%. This went from 100 to like a 1000 in a nutshell. Like every single episode was good. There was never really an episode that I was truly um either bored or unsatisfied with or like th there were episodes where I was still like wanting a little bit more but that's just me in general and such because where I felt like oh hey I don't think they they left out some things like I really wish they would give us more and such but I I'm a little biased like when I found out I think I found out at like 11 12 o'clock when I woke up um about this series getting a movie like half of me is extremely happy that this series is getting a movie and it's but at the same time my second half of me is like kind of damn it why are we getting a movie I would rather see like at least a third season and then getting a movie to see how they could possibly like wrap up the show wherever they personally want to wrap it up kind of how like okay for an example Jujutsu Kaisen Jujutsu Kaisen after season one is getting a movie and that is coming out I think December or January of next year I'm not I don't really remember but I get the fact that that's going to be a backstory and everything and I know how that's really extremely important for Jujutsu Kaisen in a nutshell and I'm, I'm fine with them saying like okay we needed this after season one I get it because you want us to see things before like all this big shit that's going to be happening in season two um 
technically fur comes. It's the same thing with, like, the fucking Demon Slayer movie, how everybody needs to go see that before season two officially starts in fall, even though, I think, like, what, a couple of weeks ago, they announced that they're making the movie into, like, separate episodes, but they're technically adding in new things. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to react to it. I'll probably just, like, rewatch it just to rewatch the... And see what they changed or what's new for the episodic series. And then when officially season two starts, that's when I'll come in. But, I mean, I really personally enjoyed it. I love spending time with these characters. I will miss these characters so freaking much. So, the only thing I can do now is read the damn light novel series or go out and buy the manga. So, (laughs) either way, I'm still going to have to go out and buy it. Because, funny enough, when I went to Barnes & Noble's last week... Um, I did see a couple. I saw, I think, Manga Volume 3, and then Light Novel 2, 3, and 5. Yeah, every single time. No matter how many times you go to Barnes & Noble, you can never find, like, the volumes you need. Like, for freaking, okay. Um, like, when I went sometime, like, earlier in the year, and I got freaking Kuma Kuma Bear, and I was able to get the first four novels of this series, and then I was like, okay, I want to look for volume volume 5. Volume 5 is nowhere to be found. And I'm like, bruh, like, even though I am nowhere near done with volume 1 because I haven't read it in a while, um, maybe I'll read it this weekend <laughs> and such. But I was like, you know, you know how, like, you kind of want to have the next volume when you officially get to, like, volume 4 and you're done with it and stuff? Because that's what I did when I was, like, um, <laughs> when Pretty Little Liars was still a thing. Uh, when the quote-unquote final book of this series, book eight, was coming, was officially out, I was out with my girlfriends, and we were just, we decided to go to Walmart, just go to Walmart, and that night, I was like, I'm gonna buy this book, even though I'm not specifically here yet, I was like, when I get here, I will already have it, and so, it was the only, like, hardcover copy that I bought, and it was like, ten dollars and it was it was very inexpensive at the time you know because now for books it's like depending on a hardcover copy and if it's just been if it just came out it's probably like thirty dollars <laughs> like i'm spending thirty dollars for a book a hardcover book but then you know depending on like where you go for manga oh god shit but I, like i said once again i really enjoyed this series this season everything that happened the good the bad and everything in between the meeting the new characters especially freaking sora because like <sighs> sora <laughs> sora is my weakness i can't with him it, it's just like okay we already all knew that like i couldn't wait nicole and freaking alan because voices and then they was like here let's add Sora into the mix and I'm like (laughs) this is worse and then you give me two more guys at the end of this series which both of them have really nice voices because if it feels like the one with the orangey hair he kind of sounds like Oh my god, I can't remember his name from Uzuna Prinsama, but it, it's the guy who plays Zenetsu in Demon Slayer and Dobby in My Hero. He sounds very similar to the character that he plays in freaking Uzuna Prinsama. Like I said, cannot remember the name, but I, I honestly cannot wait to see how or when this movie does come out to see what these two are going to be in Katarina's life. Of course, they're going to be other love and trust for Katarina because, you know, no matter what, her harem is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger no matter what (laughs) at the end of the day. But something also tells me that 50 out of 50, by the time this movie comes out, we might still get something for season three. I'm guessing like, okay, so let's say this movie is like two hours and such. And then the movie comes out and then maybe six months to a year after the movie comes out, it's announced that the show is going to get a a third season. It'll have to be sometime like after whatever the heck this movie is going to be about. But really for me right now, because I know nothing, this movie could literally be about anything. I feel like they're going to talk more about the black haired girl, aka the villain from last week. Um, so here's hoping if we do get a season three, like I said last week, I pray to God that she gets like some sort of backstory and we get to meet her again. But yeah, other than that, I really enjoyed this. I am going to miss this show a lot. I mean, specifically for all these characters and the fact is you had two of my seiyus, my top number one favorite, Saudi Hayameen 
and freaking <laughs> Katarina Sayu herself in another series together where, you know, they're playing, like, I mean, in this they were playing Best Friends versus freaking, um, Is the Order a Rabbit, where, so, <laughs> Maria's character, hi, uh, say you, how you mean, uh, sorry, Saudi, how you mean, was playing the adult, and freaking Katarina Sayu was playing a girl who was addicted to coffee. So to see these two go from that to playing, like, best for, bleh, I can't speak, oh my god, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm sorry. Best friend slash kind of love interest, I loved it so much, like, uh, I, I just cannot wait to see what in the world is going to be happening for this series in the future. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire second season of My Lex Life as Villainous. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all sometime, maybe next week, um, or, you know, officially at the start of my birthday month in October for the start of fall anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.